Hello and welcome back to The Villainous Vampire. So, uh, we're in this war. We're going to win it. It's going to be great. We're going to attack Ostland. We're then going to do all sorts of good things. We're going to destroy the Empire. All that sort of nice stuff. But first we have to walk all the way over here and kill this revolt army because it's really far away and it's going to cause us trouble if we don't. And our undead horde has finally departed from this world. Devoid once more of any energy. You know. As I am thinking of us killing yet another revolt. Anyway, yes. Uh, we can probably summon up another undead army. The question is, do we want to summon up a small one or a large one? Like, we could summon up a very small uh, undead army to help us win the end of this war. And then summon up a large one for the next one. Which could be interesting. We actually need to sacrifice this guy, I just remembered, from this war. Or otherwise he disappears forever. Uh, won the garrus, won the siege, next day, won the next siege, next day, won the next siege, cool. And uh, now we'll follow these guys into Statlav, and that should give us a 100% war score. There we go. Uh, we now need to very quickly leave this province. Because we don't want to summon the undead horde in that province. So we're not going to end the war either. There we go. Their fanatic revolt ended. And another group rose up on the same day, which was great. This guy. Sacrifice for ritual. Cool. Uh, who is the oldest? 39. 39. Your, it's your time is up. Sacrificed. So we get two, summon undead, we will summon a small horde. There we go. We got 5,000 troops. That's not too bad. We still have three uh, sacrifices for the next one. I'd like to head here. Right. Ooh, that revolt looks uh, tasty. What type of revolt is it? It is a Nurgalite revolt. Ah, damn. I was kind of hoping it was a revolt like a... Uh... Oh, wait a second, what? Ooh, our uh, king is actually declared wars to make these guys our tribute. That's, or his tribute. That's cool. But yeah, I was hoping it was a religious war. So it was maybe a different religion underneath and then we could declare a holy war. But it's a Nurgalite revolt, which means it still has the same problems. That's, that's why we couldn't kill them previously. Which actually probably means that this guy might get wrecked by uh, all of these Nurgle guys that he's allied to. Um, Sure, I'll be friends with this guy. I don't know who he is, but being friends with more people means you get more chance at money and more chance at like alliances. Mm, it looks like someone else has already killed the army for, of the Ungles. And we can just see Chandis. 3.3% every 12 days. 900 days or something. I don't know. It's going to take a while. How old are, is our character? 165. Yeah, that's pretty old. Yeah, I don't think anyone will disagree with that statement. Now we just sit in siege. Hope we get 13% from the siege. It's uh, real exciting. Uh, yeah, sieging is, I, I don't know. I talked about this before, but I think sieging is something that they could speed up in this game. Or like in this mod, actually in other mods I don't notice it. It must be the tech level they choose to start on. Like the uh, strength of the provinces seems too high. Anyway. Uh, there might be a patch for this eventually. So maybe they change it then. They did change the chaos mechanics being completely useless, which is nice. Um, yeah, we don't really want to go any further north, I don't think. I was just kind of looking at other places we could attack. North kind of seems like we're almost done north. Like, we could attack... Like, we've only got big people north. we got a kind of a few small ones around the edges to clean up. But I get a feeling that it's almost time to start attacking the Empire. Once we get Ostland, like, that gives us a very good start. I think maybe attacking into Ostland. Then we attack into Imperial Talabekland or Talabekland itself. Then we can start doing cool stuff. But uh, until that point, we're just going to sit and wing. Ooh, Peasant's Revolt, that's great. If that Peasant's Revolt wins, that or even if it sieges down the province, that, that's fantastic. Because that gives us a uh, that gives us an advantage in the next war. Yeah, the problem with Holy Warring Ostland, though, 
is there is one major problem with it is that Imperial Midland sa shares the same uh, religion. Although they have no troops, so... You know, they're, they're positives and negatives. How about you guys? You, you the same religion? Ah, no, you're Grail followers. Yeah, attacking we uh, Imperial Westerland will be difficult because Bretonia will join in. Although, um, if we're at the point where we're attacking Imperial Westerland, it might be a bit late for uh, Bretonia to do anything. Also, Austin might just be allied to people, which is annoying. Uh, he's only allied to Dukes, so... I mean, the Dukes could be strong, but he's only allied to Dukes. Cool, he's actually only a King level title. He is weaker than us, in theory. In theory. Oh, and he's being attacked by some bear-looking people. Are those raiders? Oh, those are raiders. They're killing his armies, which means that the revolt has a chance of winning. If the revolt wins, that's great, because that's just another person to attack. For pretty much free. Okay. Uh, defenders, almost done. Yep. Invest in technology, no. I'm just continuing to have a look at all these options. Nope, none of them. And we're about 100 days off from the end. Fantastic. Then the other one where I said 900, I probably should have said 300. Like a year, pretty much. A year per siege does seem a little bit... It's a little bit long. Hmm. I don't know if it's realistic or not. It's probably unrealistic, but I don't think it's that ridiculous. I don't know, it really depends how much the people had sto uh, stored up and how effective the siege is. I don't know. Maybe in uh, Warhammer Fantasy, they uh, had their wizards make food. I don't know. Anyway, we'll continue uh, waiting. Uh, any other wars? Not really. Look, oh, there's some sieging going on up there. Yeah, that doesn't look good for our king. Which is probably good. We, we actually want our king to be weak. Or a king to provide a lot of men, but be weak. Which is kind of a bit of a paradox, but I like it. Um, It's it's weird. You kind of never want to help your vassals, but you want to keep them just strong enough that they can that their levies aren't permanently de de depleted. So you can always raise up men. Uh, but just weak enough that uh, you, they can't actually pose any threat to you. Come on, defenders, lose so that we can stop talking about this. And the next tick. Oh, they got a positive siege event. Okay, another 30 days to, uh, to wait. 30 days? No. Yeah, 30, 40 days. Maybe I wasn't r wrong with the first one. I don't know. Doesn't matter. We'll continue waiting. What's our percentage at now? Another two ticks. 24 days. I can do that one. Two times 24. Two times 12. As enough. Sieging has uh, balled my mind. That was not worth the full amount of war score. That's uh, very annoying, actually. Um, we're not even getting taking a war score. Yeah, we need to control all the subholdings. We'll continue sieging this. This is 9.4% every 12 days. We can afford to siege that. That'll take 100 days. Ish. Just over 100 days. Anyway. Uh, let's try running at speed 5. I don't know if it's going to make the game run any quicker, but it's going to make me feel better. Yeah, and then I'll just, we'll just hit the autosaves quicker. Okay. Autosaves take as long as they take. Else, uh, another 7 of these ticks. At least we'll have more undead we can summon at the end of this, assuming our undead don't just disappear during the middle of the siege. Uh, how many... Uh, what's our thing sitting at? For, we have three prisoners, yes. Yeah. So we can get another, what was it, 7,000? Which isn't that much, but it's still there. It's a noticeable difference over the 5,000 we could get with two. So, yes. Uh, this is actually great looking at Oslin's troops here. They're really depleted. 
Also, it doesn't look like he has anyone underneath him because he is a king, so he doesn't have anyone he can call in, unless he can call in his dukes, but I don't imagine they'll be that strong. Defenders. Uh, one more tick and this will be done. Almost. There we go, 100%. Enforce demands. Perfect. I mean, I give away all this land. There you go. Give away. Give away. Oh, this province is fantastic. Look how much land we can give away. It's actually great. And it has boats, which is something we haven't had access to before. Um, yeah, I see that is our first think, time we've had access to boats. Uh, what is all this du jour underneath? This is all du jour underneath the High Kingdom of Kislev, or the Kingdom of... Rops uh, Mania, which we could actually create right now. Uh, we can usurp something. Uh, oh, we can usurp the uh, thing. No, we're not going to do that. We're going to take the kingdom, though. Definitely going to take the kingdom. And the reason we're going to take the kingdom... We can't give it to this guy, can we? No. Could we convert him into a vampire? No. But if we give him a job in our court, we could convert him into a vampire, I think. If I understand this correctly, so if we make him our spy master, have him scheme in our court, we can now, aha, we can turn him into a vampire. Yeah, good. He becomes vampiric. We can then grant him the Grand County of Rot's Mana. Perfect. I should have given him all lower titles, but we'll grant him these manually. We we'll give him plots. We will give him this one. He also has a very funny hat on. Uh, and we'll also grant him earning grad. That leaves us with what we want. Yeah, that's perfect. That looks much better. That's a lot cleaner underneath us. It's still not very clean, but no, another king is always good. It also means we're making less money, but. We, we are making uh, 60 ducats a year, which isn't too bad. Like, just from our own provinces. Right. Do we want to attack into here, and can we attack into here? If we wanted to summon undead, what's our issues? No issues. Cool. Doesn't have the mad... So we could summon our undead now, and then just go straight to war. Yeah. Are we leading troops? We are not leading troops, for some reason. There we go. Leading troops. We're not province owner. Really? That's a real problem here for you? You sure we're not province owner? We are not. Oh, one of these must be two. Oh, yes, we are. We do fit one of those. Win a war. Perfect. I would like to sacrifice you. Yes, I'd like to sacrifice you. I would like to sacrifice you. Perfect. And I like to summon undead. Uh, a hor large horde to serve my every need. Oh, that is great. That's uh, that is seven thousand, right? I see. That's only six thousand. Huh. Oh well. We still have a thirteen thousand man army. We can't declare war. We've raised army levies. We no longer have raised army levies. Yeah. We want this war. Definitely. For the Kislev Verge. Right. We cannot call in our allies. We can, however, raise up our Rotmania troops. We can raise up our troops here. And we can all head down into this province. And maybe we also want to raise these troops. And just send them over as well. Cool, we're at War of Ostland. This is great. This is what we wanted. Who's in your war, Ostland? Just you? Perfect. They have so lost this war. We can just assault this province down actually with no issues. Oh, he called in a priest. With 300 troops. Uh, we're still playing on speed 5. We'll play on speed uh, 4 again. Cool. Cool. A great honor. Uh, he would like to be part of our... Sure, we accept you. Yeah, you just want to be our um, house. Cool, fine, whatever. The Bolsgrad Holy War has ended as he joined as defender. Excuse me? 
no it didn't yeah oh that was very much a no it didn't moment <laughs> it's like the war ended uh just because you sent us a message saying the war's over uh we like we want to peace out doesn't mean the war's over and we're peacing out uh the order of the winter throne interesting they'll probably have leaders you know what we'll go we'll go beat up this army then we'll move down into the next province Oh, the 2,000 was actually more than enough. Oh, well. We'll merge up here. That's a lot of troops we have available. 17,000 troops for a 7,000-man uh, uh, province. Not a problem. Right. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Um, did he call someone else in? He did. He called in this count with 2,000 troops. Cool. I would like to assault. Yeah, not even close. Uh, nope, don't want to cast magic. I do want to assault again, however. Oh, he's in another holy war. Did the Ungols declare on him, or is he defending in something else? That looks like the Ungol symbol, which is why I'm thinking the Ungols might have declared. Just waiting for the Oth save to disappear, so I'll give us it. The Wolfbergian, Ostlandian, and Dijur war over Netberg. Oh, okay. Right, assault that one down. Perfect. Uh, what's the percent? 11% every 12 days. I kind of want to just go siege down more provinces, so we'll just leave that to someone else. I want to go assault, because assaulting seems like... Oh, I want to kill this army. Never mind. Forget assaulting. I want to kill this 3,000-man army. For the uh, sweet, sweet war score. This guy, personal combat skill 1, not even a challenge. Focus on offense. He's dead. Troops gain 10% morale, and he is completely dead. Yeah. Can't seize that one down, it's too big. Next province. It's going to keep going between them until we get to one that seems feasible to siege down. Uh, that one doesn't seem feasible, we'll go to the next one. I, I don't really want... We could siege any of them down, I want to see ones that we can assault. By army. Uh, okay, so we can siege none of them down. We'll just uh, like we we can assault none of them down. We'll just siege. That's fine. Small hordes dead. That means that we're down to our uh, twelve thousand troops. Uh, did we get any more prisoners in that assault? In those assaults there? No prisoners in the assaults. Damn, that's unfortunate. Oh well. It's like you get all or nothing with assaults. You either get all the prisoners, or you get no prisoners. Uh, excellent, a tithe. Uh, another lot of gold. That's fine. We'll just keep sieging it down. Shouldn't take too long. Uh, we're actually very high on war score already. And we have a lot of troops without needing all of the extra troops. Like, we have a... Even if we lose our horde right now... Uh, I want to just have a look at the army. If I go new unit... Yeah, we only lose 7,000 troops. Like, well, we lose 7,000. It's still a lot, but we still have 5,000. So I'm getting out of here. And this is going to be a good war. Hopefully. It's not too bad. Um, yeah. We'll continue waiting for it to siege. It's going quicker than before, but it's still, you know, it's still only, what, 4.9%? So it's only going 2% quicker. Which is, like, it is quicker, but not by a lot. Yep, he's probably going to be able to get his uh, province back here, which is unfortunate. But we can siege it back down again anyway. It doesn't really matter that much. Those are just raiders here just purely to, you know, raid. How's your war going over there, by the way, Mr. King? Uh, Mr. King, your war is... Going fine. Uh, you're losing though. Yeah. That's fine. Actually, our kings being at war and losing is fine because it means that we can attack the people they were attacking and then we can get the land that they were after. But they're all weaker. It's, uh, yeah, it's good. You can start waiting for two people to fight each other and then you just kill the winner, basically. Right. Or, 
your side wins in the first place and you don't even need to do anything. I was, this looks like it's sieging quicker. It's not though. It's still 4.9%. I think 10% is about good is good for the sieges. Like that's about the num that's what I like to see when I siege. It's like 10%, I can wait for that. 4% is starting to drag on a little bit. Maybe we get some prisoners out of this siege. Who knows? Actually, you know what might be good? Do we have... We do have siege equipment. We could make our siege just go quicker by putting... Just pumping points into siege equipment. Let's see if that worked. 6% every 12 days. Glory be. We have actually figured out how to do it. You know what? I'm actually also going to put points into legalism. So we can get some of those uh, new uh, laws if we want to. Yeah, 6%. That's not too bad. I just remembered there was a siege uh, technology that we hadn't been leveling up because we were getting retinue so we could assault and ignore sieges entirely. But, you know, might as well just get siege while we can. It does make it go in a whole percent quicker. So. And it will make ones where we have a higher percentage go even quicker because it's just uh, it's a percentage added on on top. So If it was already 10%, it might be like 15%. I don't know. That might be too much. Are we finished the assault? There we are. Oh, uh, we're finished the siege, but we can definitely assault this one down. Yeah. 800 men? Definitely. They're gone. Goodbye holding. Prisoners? No prisoners. Okay, next holding. I'm actually going to head back to their capital and siege that. That wouldn't be the route I would take to their capital. I'm not going to create it again. We can kill their 80 men and then siege their capital again. I just want to see how quick this siege looks now. To be honest with you. How quick is the siege looking? Uh, he created a duchy. Cool. He, this person is no longer a court priestess. We need a new one. Uh, Anastasia, you'll do fine. How about you go... I don't know. Can I research cultural tech in our capital. Okay. It is 11.7%. That's a little bit quicker. Anyway, thank you for watching this episode, and next time we'll finish the war. See you then. Goodbye.